Hello everyone and welcome back to Zakil Educational Channel. So I hope your preparations will be going on well for the Environmental Science UGC NET examination. And in this video, I will tell you topics which you must know before going for the exam. Yes, these things are must for revision because these are very very frequently asked topics and you should know before going for the exam. So we will not delay in this video, just I will tell you all these topics. You should note down whether you have completed the revision for these topics or not. So without much delay, let's start today's video. So these are the topics which you should note down one by one in your note and then check whether you have done the revision or not. Starting with the important environmental days and their themes. So this is the themes you should know for the last year which is very very important and I have already made a video you can check the link in the description. So all these important top 15 topics whichever is available in our YouTube videos I have provided the link in the description you can check through that. Next coming is second thing that is environmental acts. Environmental Convention, Environmental Moments, Epico Moments, Chipko Moments, Environmental Acts and their year when they were enacted. So these things are important. Second number is Environmental Acts, Convention, Moments, Protocol, Montreal Protocol, Kyoto Protocol, all these things along with the year when they were coming to the existence and simple things related to that. Third thing is Environment Related ISO number. Yes. International Organization of Standardization Number related to environment. This is also important which you have already discussed in the telegram group. Video was given and the quiz was conducted. So ISO number environmental related is very important. You can also check the easy trick to remember the ISO number. The description will be having that link. Next is global warming potential atmospheric lifetime of the greenhouse gases so it can be asked in the increasing order decreasing order you have to arrange so in some twisted form these things will be must there that is global warming potential atmospheric lifetime of the greenhouse gases next is bowen's reaction series yes it is very important bowen's reaction series to know that series very simple thing also this is one of the very frequently asked topics in the ugc net environmental science exam Next is the CFC conversion. So from number to the CFC formula, from CFC formula to the number, CFC number. So this thing is very, very important. The technique to know very, very simple. We have already made a video. Next is number seven, that is National Ambient Air Quality Standards and Bureau of Indian Standards for Drinking Water. These two things you should know for the important elements. So these are very, very important national ambient air quality standards and BIS drinking water standards. Now coming to the other eight. So seven we have discussed now. Before that, let me remind you about the four mock test series, which will provide a solid revision for the UGC net December 2023 environmental science paper. So this quality mock test as per the latest syllabus is available for just rupees 199. Yes two simple steps to avail this mock test you have to pay rupees 199 to this number double eight nine five zero three five six nine zero and send me the screenshot and then i will provide you the links for the all four mock test eight number is disease caused by the elements or pollutants it can mean the air water soil so for example lead cadmium and then what is this mercury arsenic silicosis so these are the elements and the questions are coming from which disease is Minamata disease, what is caused by the pollution of mercury, itai itai. So these things are very frequently asked question. You should know these things. Then is biogeochemical cycle. Yes, nitrogen, carbon, phosphorus, sulfur cycle, which is gaseous cycle, which is sedimentary cycle. And most important one is the nitrogen cycle, which we have made the separate video. Nitrogen cycle is very, very important. Tenth one is coal types and their characteristics. It can be anthracite, lignite, peat, these kind of coals are there and their characteristics which is having highest amount of moisture, which is good quality coal, which is having highest sulfur amount. So these things are very frequently asked coal types and their characteristics very very important. Number 11 is the mass balance numerical. This is also a very frequently asked numerical coming in the UGC net environmental science paper. Mass balance numerical if you don't know. In the description the video link is given you can check from there 
next is the biomedical waste bin color code yes where the anatomical waste are segregated and they are kept in the biomedical waste in yellow color so these are the examples which i'm giving where the sharp waste are disposed of white color bin blue color bin black color bin red bin so this is very very important you should know which bin is used for which kind of biomedical waste disposal next 13 number is smog types yes fog plus smoke is smog that is smoke plus fog london smog los angeles smog which is reducing in nature which is not and when it was seen first time which is earlier which came later these things are important 14 number is mineral hardness which mineral is more harder than what diamond is the most hardest mineral more scale so this more scale will tell which mineral is having more hardness than the other mineral comparatively so more scale you should know that thing and finally 15th number that is top 15 topics is sustainable development goals millennium development goals these two are very very important so the next important topic is the primary and secondary air pollutants their characteristics and examples of primary and secondary air pollutants number 16 is gives free energy change when it is spontaneous reaction what will be the change when it is in equilibrium what will be the change and even the numerical can come that means the formula you have to use delta g is equal to delta h minus t del s so it can come in that form also number 18 is bioremediation bio augmentation phytoremediation bio transformation so these things are having a very small difference but these questions are also one of the very frequently asked questions number 19 is el nino la nina phenomena their characteristics conditions what happens in pacific ocean what are the changes this is also an important concept next the final one which we are discussing for this video among the top 20 most frequently asked question is analytical techniques yes Atomic Absorption Spectroscopy, GCMS, Chromatography, XRD, XRF. What are the principles and differences? These are also very, very important. Yes, this video was made just to make you aware that these topics are important and whether you have done the revision or not. So all the very best for the examination. Don't panic. Whatever you have prepared, that will only come in the examination. See you guys in our next video. Till then, keep smiling and believe in yourself.